Welcome back guys, so if you're watching my last video you would know that my uh, 2000 watt grid tie inverter with limiter has died. Um, it's the DC side that's definitely uh, where the smell and the problem is coming from. Um, so I've got my screwdriver, I do have a bigger multimeter with a bigger, a better screen to be able to see and we're just going to have to figure out what's going on. Uh, I'm guessing it is uh, one of the MOSFETs on the DC side up here somewhere but um, I'm not too sure. So let's, um, let's unscrew it and have a looky. So as you can see there, it comes apart quite easily. I haven't actually ever taken this apart before, uh, but something up there that's causing the problem but I'll just kind of show you down this, the board anyway let's have a closer look eh? so these are the DC cables we got our positive there and our negative there I oh, say positive there and negative here um, that's what happens if you're looking at the, the camera not the what your finger is now these, there's two fuses here and they are 30 amps and 30 amps, so two 30 amp fuses. And if I come down here, it doesn't really look like it's blown. Um, let's just try, oh that's good, they do come out. So one's a bit crusty on one side, but don't actually look like don't actually look like they're blind so I'll just put this aside down here for a second and pull the next one out which I'm going to need two hands so after a good five minutes of trying to pull this fuse out I finally managed to get the fuse out so it's a 30 amp fuse it looks a bit crusty on top which is not the best it's a bit bent at the bottom but that's only because I was pulling it and it just was pretty stuck in there and it's not looking too happy. I can put that down there so you might see it. Uh, so I'd say that's blown. But the qu real question, so I only blew one fuse. The real question obviously is, is that what actually blew? So let's just have a quick look at the board and I'll quickly do a fly over the board. So that's kind of how it looks can't see any visible damage on anything else but I can definitely smell something died so this part here is the board that the screen plugs into this one here and it's also the board that the CT clamps cl um, feed to so this must be the main controller board for for something that's got a, some pins that you can obviously pull the whole thing out interesting that on the design that they is it looks like there's some room for an extra fuse in there and whatever that could possibly be I'll obviously some more outputs or something and this is the screen module looks like it's got a battery on it so it's battery backed obviously to store some of the data on there not too sure what that says if I bring that around So, now the next part is, I'm not too sure. I haven't worked on a heck of a lot of inverters. So, I'm sure someone is going to be able to tell me where the, to look for the problem. But, if I follow my nose, I'm going to say, it's one of these. Either a diode or... Or MOSFET, if they use MOSFETs or FETs, I don't, I don't know. I'm guessing the design is pretty much like any other inverter design. And I can't see any noticeable damage, so I'm just going to put the camera down and have a very close look at everything and just see if I can see anything black or, or slightly brown. But other than that, everything else looks, looks like a really tightly built, really. 
it's um, nice and clean and tidy. Would have liked these cables to be slightly thicker, um, but you know, it only takes 32 amps at, um, I don't need to take 32 amps and that should be fine for that, so. I'm not too sure with the gauge of those wires. I should be able to read it there. No, I can't. Yeah, so I'll just have a quick look. So I've had a good look around and um, I can't really figure out the problem. The, uh, doing a sniff test, it just smells like the problem's over here somewhere. Now, if I just do a bit of a zoom, there is something in there. So that could be a diode or a MOSFET or something. And we've got some here as well. Uh, again, I'm not too sure without taking the whole thing out. And But there's no visible signs on top. No burn marks or anything like that. Um, that looks like a replica. That whole side kind of looks like a replica on the other side. Um, yeah, I don't really know. Hopefully someone will be able to tell me what I should be looking for and how I should be testing it. Um, so if you do know what to do, let me know, but um, just quickly, the fans seem fine. Um, they are ball bearing fans. So not 100% fantastic, but they spin perfectly fine. There's actually not just two of them, there's a hidden fan here. There's a fan right there. Um, this thing here is just pretty buddy. Um, but that's a fan there. So there's a dedicated fan that blows through the heatsink. That obviously that heat sink's got all the MOSFETs or whatever they are diodes connected to it, uh, and which is obviously the same on the other side. Everything's really clean and tidy. I'm, to be honest, quite impressed for for what it is. Um, it seems really good. Uh, everything's cable tied. The, the thermistor's connected to the top of the heat sink, and that's all firm and everything's really good. So. I don't know where the problem is going to be, um, but I'll be starting with over here somewhere. Well, the only other thing I can do really is to take the board out and to, um, I'm guessing what you'd do is you'd maybe start with the ones that, well first have a look and just see where if it's burnt from underneath. If I just put the camera below, my angle there, you'll see under here there's, there's things that hang down. I don't know if they're capacitors. But there's a few things that kind of hang down, like they, they do look like capacitors or something. I'm not sure how well that's showing up in the video, but um, yeah, it's a bit of a mystery, really. I will have to unscrew the board and have a look underneath, and just if that if I can't figure that part out, then what I'll do is I'll have to des well, first check with the multimeter um, and just check that it's shorted and then I'll desolder one of these components and then check if it's still shorted and then I'm guessing I'll figure it out that way and then replace whatever faulty part is faulty. So that's kind of my guess. So yeah, if you guys have some good ideas or some better ideas um, and how to diagnose it, but just very quickly now that we've got those um, fuses out and we have a multimeter with a bigger screen I put that there and I makes a big noise which is good so if I just put this across um, positive to negative dead short and negative to negative obviously with Good, so that's only the two fuses, so yeah, bit of a mystery. Not too sure what this is either, it's a piece of metal that goes across, it actually s does touch the capacitor which I'm not too happy about, but um, I'm not too sure what that is. It connects to maybe the ground side, it's obviously a thick connector that connects maybe ground side to... Somewhere else on the board, positive by the look of it. Or well, by the look of that cap, it says positive. Uh, the caps are fine, they all look good. Uh, everything else looks good, so yeah, bit of a mystery. So I thought I'd just continue on a little bit further and unscrew the board and try and get it up without having to unplug too many things. 
and this is what it looks like underneath so these little brown things here if I just zoom into one of those that's what it is I have to google that I've got no idea what that is and these weird looking things here actually um, they sit onto here with one of these on top to hold them down and if I have a look at this one here they've got some kind of thing that sits over them so the two prong thing and it's like a like a jacket like a I'm just trying to see if one is loose it's like a but I don't know I don't know how I get those off uh, they do look like they come off anyway these look fine And they sit upside the on the back of the uh, little transformer things, so they should be okay, I would guess. I guess it's one of the the smell wasn't coming from here; it was coming from the MOSFET, which sat back here. This thing here is about the only thing that I can kind of see that's brown. Ugh. Focus. I can only see that's brown. So. Apart from that, yeah, potentially there's a small bit of discoloration over here on that pin. But the smell is coming from this side here, which is kind of this area here. But yeah, apart from that. So AC side, the DC side's here, and everything else looks fine. So I'm picking at something into, like over here. So that's a resistor with the R in it, I guess. Don't know. Don't know. So guys, if uh, if you're wanting to help and figure out what this could possibly be, and we, if we can get this thing going again, that would be fantastic. So um, yeah, obviously comment on the video below and let me know what I can try and do. Great, thanks again for watching guys. See you in the next video.